about this is seriously traumatic for all of us. Coming off of a horrific weekend at a Northwest Portland hospital, a security guard shot and killed at Legacy Good Samaritan Medical Center. The suspect caught and killed by police in Gresham, now identified as 33-year-old Pontiac's Kane Kalyas, previously known as Reginald Kane Jackson. At 4 o'clock, I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Dan and Jenny are off today. Legacy leadership still not holding interviews, but employees, they are coming forward saying they have spoken out about unsafe conditions for years. Our Brandon Thompson live at Good Samaritan trying to find out if the security guard, Bobby Smallwood, who was shot and killed, was the only one on staff that day. What have you found out, Brandon? That is one of several questions we are still waiting to hear back from Legacy about. We're trying to figure out what was the security staffing that day. Did the suspected shooter, Caez, have previous disturbances here at Good Samaritan. Again, we reached out to Legacy earlier this morning. I touched base about an hour ago. Still have not gotten answers from the hospital system on those issues. Now, there was a manhunt that ensued for hours for Caez on Saturday after police say he shot and killed Smallwood Saturday morning at Good Samaritan. The workers I'm speaking to say that for several years they were concerned about security guard staffing, concerned about metal detectors, or just having enough security staffing to staff those metal detectors they are also concerned about bag searches and how frequent those would take place. Now, these employees tell me on several occasions, nurse or caretakers would find drugs, knives and even guns on patients belongings. Now, they also have been working for Legacy for several years. They do not work at Good Samaritan, but they know several employees here who have had similar concerns when they meet at trainings or other company events. After threats against health care workers increased during the pandemic, they're still waiting on changes. They tell me Legacy has a strict policy on speaking to the media, so we've disguised one of their voices to keep them anonymous. I think most of us feel like we've just been screaming for help into a black void because it just doesn't get heard or it gets heard by people and then it just gets stopped and then that that the the thing that should have happened never happens. So these employees do feel like hospital level management. They are taking the concerns seriously, saying those managers are working to try to find solutions to fix them. It's the speed and ability from top tier management at Legacy as a whole that they feel is concerning for the inability to make changes. Again, we have reached out to Legacy several times today to get response on these issues as well as more information about what happened on Saturday. We ha still have not heard back, but security guard staffing is appearing to be a concern at hospitals across Oregon. The Oregon Nursing Association saying today that that is something they've been pushing for for their members. We're going to bring you more of that issue coming up tonight at 5. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Brandon Thompson, Point 6 News. All right, Brandon.